Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at that. How are you going to make a chart in case you have um, extremely small values and extremely large values to be placed in a single chart? Well, I've made this chart, but I'm going to do, the, do it again in front of you. Well, consider this data that you have months and the number of clicks that you get in a month. Um, and we have usual number of clicks, about uh, 100 and 200 uh, typically going on. But uh, in April, we get lucky and but we get 22,000 clicks in a single month. Now, if you were to make a chart with this data, um, the chart, the usual chart would look something like this, right? This one clearly standing out. But the problem is that you're not able to read the other values if the other values are still very important. So how do you actually make a chart? So for doing that, I create two dummies. One is for regular, the other one is for outliers. Let's just take a look at a small formula. So I'm just saying that if this value is greater than a thousand, thousand is a benchmark which defines that uh, is this uh, value considered a dummy or not? So if the value is more than thousand, um, then give me a zero, otherwise give me the same value and I drag the formulas down. So here the value was definitely more than thousand and that's the reason why you got a zero. Then the next outlier is for the outlier dummy. Sorry, the next dummy is for the outlier. Um, so I'm saying the reverse logic, if this value is less than a thousand, then give me a zero, otherwise give me the same value. So since this value is uh, definitely not less than thousand, it's more than thousand, so you're getting the value right here. So we create two dummies. The first dummy is this one, the second dummy is this one, and that's what we do. So we place the, the gray bars on the primary axis with those regular values and the other one, sorry, and this one uh, is the outliers dummy that we place it on the secondary axis. That's what we do. And we get a chart like that. If you just take a look at the chart, um, I'm just gonna go and change chart type. You can just take a look that series two, which is my regular values are on the primary axis and series one, which is my outliers is on the secondary axis. So once we have a chart like this, uh, we can have data labels and we can clearly see that this value stands out. But if somebody starts to read this chart, this is definitely not going to make sense because the chart is not broken. You have the axis up till 250 and you are showing 22,000 here. So we need to kind of break the chart with a kink. And the kink is nothing but like a shape. Let's, let's say this is one shape that I've made. Uh, it can be here, it can be here, sorry. Uh, it can be here, it can be here, it can be wherever in the chart. So to decide where the kink is going to be, I have um, thought that the kink is going to be on the 75th uh, percentage of the value. So if this is 22,000, I take 75% of that. Somewhere here is going to be the kink. You can decide wherever you want the kink. Somewhere on the top, somewhere here, somewhere here, wherever you would like to have, you can have the kink. Kink is nothing but like a broken sign. So here's another dummy for kink. I say that um, the same logic, if this value is less than 1,000, then uh, take this value and multiply it with 75%. Otherwise, give me an any. That's what I say. And I drag it down. So as soon as the Excel if formula comes here, it finds the value is more than 22,000. It multiplies that with 0.75 and you get a value like here. Again, I'm just going to take this value and put it in the chart. Um, and uh, so let me just do that actually. Uh, so I'm just going to say, just delete that. Series three is nothing but the kink. I'm just going to delete that and do it once again. So here is the kink. So I'm just going to say control C to copy the data, pick up the chart, control V to paste the chart uh, on the chart. And I have the kink right here. Now I'm just going to say, hey, right click here and then change the chart type. And I'm just going to say that instead of a clustered column chart, I'd like to have a line chart with markers and I'm just going to say, okay. And you get a, you know, a kink, a small dot here or whatever here. Now what you can do is um, make a shape. So this is nothing but a shape. So I went to the insert tab, I went on the shapes and I made a little rectangle like this and filled it with, with white color and outline was like a light blue or something, something like this. And I just tilted it a little uh, to the left hand side. That's, that's all is the kink. And then once I made this shape, I'm just going to copy this shape and pick up that marker and say control V on that. So control C and then control V right here and you get a kink. Now, the only problem with this chart is that you have a couple of zeros here, which you definitely don't want to see. So the zeros are coming from here. You can see that you have a zero here and a ton of zeros here. So what you can do is custom format this. I'm going to pick up this two columns, press control one to format this. 
and I'm going to go in uh, custom and I'm going to say that, hey, um, zero, um, no formatting for a negative, no formatting for a zero as well. So zero colon colon uh, and semicolon semicolon. And then I'm just going to say, OK, the chart is complete. Uh, so the next time you want to make a chart with uh, outlier values, extremely large values and small values, you know what to do. I'm sure you already know that, but uh, if you have people around who are looking for a solution to a similar problem or this problem, feel free to share this video with them and I'll be happy to have them on the video to come over and take a look at the solution. Thanks for watching and do subscribe to Goodly. Cheers and take care. Bye-bye.